Hey, housemates! Wanna play a press your luck game about cooking up a big pot of stew? You know, we've all been busy. So we have just a little time for this most excellent filler game with some really wonderful art. Hey, here's some keywords. Animals, hidden information, a micro game, uh, print and play, ooh, uh, indie gaming, ooh, geez, get, getting crowded in here. Uh, uh, hocus Pocus. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Stew by Button Shy Games is this amazing little micro game. There's like 18 cards in the basic set and they've published a couple extra micro expansions. You know, Button Shy has been making these impressive wallet sized games for years and they have a whole line of them. Some are incredibly good. Button Shy are pushing the boundaries of what can be accomplished in a minimalist game concept. So let's say we threw this carrot into the stew. Well, the rabbit steals it before I get to eat it. But of course, we play cards face down into the stew, so I don't know how many carrots there already are in there. Maybe we instead gave the carrot directly to the rabbit. Or, in fact, we can give any of our ingredients to any of the vermin. Like, I guess maybe we throw a potato at the fox, right? Hey, this is a chicken game. <laughs> yeah, there's a microcosm of the game in these three cards. The, the chicken, which we can eat, the fox, which eats the chicken, and the vagabond, which will not eat the chicken. Now we can throw the chicken in the stew, but the fox eats the chicken. Then the vagabond, who is apparently a fussy eater, gives us negative points if there is chicken in the stew, you see? I think it's like the vagabond wants to steal some of our stew, which loses three points for us, but he'll only come around if he smells a rich and meaty stew. But if it's all veggies, he doesn't bother showing up, scoring us three more points since we didn't have to share. I don't know, man. This game proves that beggars can be choosers. Anyway, we can throw ingredients at the fox or at the vagabond to make them go away. This decision complex is a frequent motif to the game. Adding more stuff to the stew can inexplicably make the value go down or, you know, toss a card at the vermin outside the stew to make the stew get better. Like there's a rock, which is straight negative points. Throw that at the hobo to radically improve the stew. Or don't. There's this garlic, which gives negative points if both garlics are in the stew. And then there's this corn expansion, which earns negative points for every card played before this one. Now, I'll tell you my favorite way to play this game. I've acquired two copies of the game Stu. I guess I'm shifting it away from being a simple 18 card micro game, I guess. Well, with two copies, I like to deal out a random assortment of six pests. We might have two raccoons and two boars, but no rabbit and no fox, maybe. It makes the game much less predictable and way more variable from one round to the next. Uh, I would recommend don't double the, the number of ingredients because that becomes a lot to keep or track of, but I do double the carrots because I like carrots. Also, and I'm just showing off here, I thought the mutant vegetable expansion card was kind of silly. Since I have the print and play files, I decided to tweak it and make this bread card, which soaks up the flavor of all the other ingredients in the stew. Whenever we think there is at least 12 points of food in the stew, or, you know, there still will be after every creature great and small gets their share, we should call stew and flip the cards, feed the animals, and count score. If we were right, and there's still 12 or more points in the pot, we get two victory points. If not, then everyone else gets one victory point. We'll play to some number of points, and the winner will get a copy of the game, Burgoo. Hey, wait, 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 wait. 
a micro game about boiling up the best pot of tasty goodness while manipulating those around you into adding and removing ingredients in just the right way? Oh, oh, look, see, the, this one doesn't have any chickens or vagabonds. So, okay, well, that's cool. Housemates, I'll see you at the game table.